my heart, Lucille. I think I completely shattered the rear axle shaft on the driver's side, so the tire's poking out pretty nasty over there. But here we go. Let's get her home. All right, so I thought I had blown up the rear end because it's a logical thing to think when you put an LS1 into a 1956 that's a 61 year old rear end so it's very likely that the new amount of power is going to shred the rear end but unlike everybody thought it was just a bearing one bearing failed apparently these are weak axles but not for the reasons other weak axles are these these splines are pretty tough they're really thick axles so that's not the problem. The problem is that what holds the axle in to the, the axle housing itself is literally the pressed on bearing. So if this fails for whatever reason or implodes like mine did, I mean, it was literally in pieces. If that fails, then the whole axle can slide out like it did. And luckily there's low fenders on a 56 Bel Air. So it caught the tire. I got a little bit of rub on my good gear, but better than losing the tire and sliding off the highway. So these are going back in. The car will be operational. It's Saturday afternoon. We've been working on this pretty much all day. But got them out, got the old bearings off, slammed on the new bearings. Rock and roll. If you liked the video, click the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, keep on modding.